Welcome back guys to a brand new video and we have a bunch of update news for Bullet Force. We have three freaking new guns being added to Bullet Force. And let me first by start saying I'm sorry for this crappy gameplay. There is nobody online right now for the test flight version. Android has not been updated to the same version as um, iOS. So there's like nobody online and I waited like a week for it to update and like it just has not been updated. So I decided to give you guys some campaign gameplay and try to make it interesting as possible. That's the reason why there has been any Bullet Force videos in a while. And also, um, notice I don't have any skins or guns. The iOS accounts have been resetted, sadly, to start grinding again. But ads have been helping out a lot. makes it a lot easier to get guns. But I'm honestly going to wait until the, the servers get updated so we can play with more people. Because right now, there's nobody online, which makes it kind of literally impossible to grind. And I don't think you get anything for playing campaign. So anyway, let's get into this amazing update. So first, you have the MP5 being added. The MP5 is one of my most favorite freaking SMGs. It's one of the best out there. I used it in, um, what's it called? Game was it? Oh my gosh, I forgot the game. I used it in um Black Ops 2 a lot. Not Black Ops 2, Black Ops the Caspite, which is the PS Vita version. I played with that gun so much. It's one of the most my favorite guns. It has a high fire, and I always love slapping suppressors on it. It really made it very fun to use. And it has nice mobility, but I don't think mobility matters in Bullet Force. But um, it's honestly a really fun SMG and one of my favorite. You also see a picture of him putting skins on it. Like these skins look like, it's like some type of honeycomb camel, and it honestly does look really cool. It's going to be actually hard for me to show you these skins now since, you know, I don't have unlimited case. I'm going to actually buy them and stuff. But I can't wait to see these new camels. They do look freaking amazing. I honestly cannot wait. And the second gun we have next is the Chris Vector. And this is a really big favorite from, from the community. It was an MC3 and MC5, and I honestly cannot wait for this gun. I'm not too much of a big fan, on, fan, fan of it in MC5. Let's see how good it is in, um, what's it called? Bullet Force. But it'll be a pretty fun gun to use. It's also an SMG and also a really cool I I think it doesn't have a big clip though, but it has an interesting reload animation. And then finally, we have the freaking AK-47. Oh my gosh. I begged for this gun since like day one in Bullet Force. Like when I first started playing Bullet Force and found out about it, the main that kept begging Lucas for was the freaking AK-47. It's like my favorite gun. I played it in Black Ops. I played it in Sea Ops. I played it in um, CSGO. It's honestly one of my favorite guns there is. It's a high power to start off with if you don't know. I mean, everybody knows what the AK-47 is. Probably, it's literally the most famous gun there is. It's just a high power to start off with not the best accuracy, but it's so freaking powerful. And I cannot wait to freaking play with it. Like, once that comes, I'm going to grind my ass off for it. And I'm going to be using that 24-7. I'm probably going to get addicted to Bullet Force again like I was back in the old days. But honestly, I cannot wait for this update. It's going to be freaking amazing. I don't show you why, why he's adding so many guns, but I'm definitely very happy that he's doing it. But honestly... I just, I just cannot wait for these guns. These guns are going to be amazing. They look so freaking nice. They look really well done. We have some of the models done. I'm trying to get y'all a better pick, pick of the um, Chris Vec because the model for that gun is not complete. But anyway, guys, I'm not sure when this update is coming out. He also redid the menus and stuff, and he also added a, um, is it called a, what, a recoil suppressor? I'm not sure exactly what it is, but definitely looks pretty cool. I'm using it on my FAMAC right now. It helps it recoil, and I think it nerfs range or damage, or maybe a combination of both. But it, anyway, it does work really well. But that's all, guys. I'm going to keep the video short. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you really care, subscribe. Peace, guys.